Hi, my name is Mera Sobolos in Ikuru. Um, the title of my paper is The Role of um, Indigenous Language Use in Information Dissemination on Climate Change. This is a case of soot emission in River State, Nigeria. So this paper is centered around the concerns about um, rural dwellers not understanding the concept of climate change and what it, and its impacts to their health and to their environment. So um, to give a background, so recently in River State, um, there has been the case of illegal crude refining. The Nigerian government has declared it's illegal. Unfortunately, it's not been controlled. And this is actually done in the rural communities very close to where people live. And it has resulted in the emission of soot in the, in the air, in the environment. People inhale this soot. Um, they find them in their houses. They find them on their skins. They find the soot um, on, their, on their food, on their vegetation. And they really do not have an idea what it is. Now, um, the paper is looking at how these people can be sensitized using the language that they understand. And um, the paper is advocating for the use of indigenous language use because in a study conducted by AWE, um, two um, groups of Yoruba speaking groups were talked to about climate change. One group was spoken to in English, the other one was spoken to in Yoruba. And they discovered that those who were spoken to in Yoruba were able to interpret better um, their understanding of climate change than those who are spoken to in English. So this paper um, uses some um, and um, in structured interviews and um, interactions with people in three communities in River State. And then um, data was um, data were gathered from about 40 people in these communities um, ranging from 18 to 60 years. And we, I also considered the, the educational background of these people. Some of them are secondary school leavers and if a handful of them are university graduates. And um, the, we use the um, interview method. I use the interview method and the results show that um, so questions were asked concerning their, their knowledge of climate change, if they've heard about climate change, if um, uh, what's, what's mean, what means were they informed about climate change? Do they have an idea of um, the dangers of human activities to the climate? Do they know it, it's, it impacts their health? And then the results show that uh, not many people have heard about, about climate changes in these communities. And even those who have heard claim, okay, they heard about it on radio and um, where it was um, in, uh, in jingles, where um, it was talked about in um, Nigerian pidgin English. And um, the, the idea about the climate is about uh, maybe flooding and where rain falls, and then they were advised not to dump refuse in, their, in, um, in drainages and in the rivers. But nobody has really told them about the man-made activities like illegal crude refining that happens in their backyards and the dangers it's causing to them. And they really, and then they, they don't even understand if it's causing any dangers to them because a question was asked like, um, are people coughing often in your communities? A few people said yes, people are coughing and then it's, it's possible that um, the in inhalation of soot is part of it. Um, some other people said they, they don't think so because people have been coughing even before the illegal refining and then another group said um, they have no idea. So um, I, I discovered that these people do not understand what the dangers of these activities are. And so um, the paper is recommending that um, government agencies, uh, pe people, in, people in, in authority try to um, sensitize the people about climate change, telling them how it could be caused by natural causes and by human activities and how they can control it to live a better life, especially with the situation of soot emission. And then um, this should be spoken to in the indigenous language of the community, the immediate community where these people reside so that they understand better um, what this, this situation is. And lastly, the paper is also recommending that people in authority work with um, language specialists 
so that we could create words, uh, terms that will fit climate, that will fit into the climate change concept. And then they say these things in their languages so that the people understand better. So that's all about my paper. Thank you for listening.